Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Brandon Clements and welcome back to another video here on Glass Hand and I am excited to show you uh, this one principle of programming that took me years to understand and I'm not kidding. Like I, you know, I've come a long way <laughs> in my programming journey. I used to be the absolute worst at this stuff and that's why I'm making these videos is to try to help those artists who are transitioning into programming who want to create games or experiences. Uh, that's why I'm making these videos today. So the last time I left you guys, I left you with some pretty hard references in that direct communication video. And what do I mean by that? Um, well, the switch had to directly talk to another class um, that was the hidden door. And that, that may not seem like a big deal and it may not, you know, for your experiences, for your small prototypes, whatever it may be, it may not be a big deal. And modern computers can honestly handle um, a decent amount of references, uh, hard references like that. But what's going to happen when you create your experiences further down the road, it's going to be really hard to make changes to uh, to anything like that because you're, you're basically running into a principle in computer science that uh, in computer programming that's kind of known as coupling. Um, so your classes basically they depend on one another, and it's slow and it's very bad to prototype. You know, once you get to a certain scale, um, and a lot of tutorials, especially Unity tutorials, may have you. Um, access like a game manager and that game manager may have like a ton of methods or variables and you're constantly having to hard reference that game manager and before you know it uh, everything is tied together and you can't pull it apart and like I said that may not be a big deal to you right now but I promise you one day if you keep continuing down this road that I've continued down it's going to be really hard to make changes to your experience or to your game because of that tight coupling. Um, so what I'm going to show you today is interfaces, uh, blueprint interfaces. Now interfaces are in C sharp. They're in Java script. You know, there's a lot of different uh, interfaces for programming. This is kind of like a principle, uh, but it's basically a way for you to promise behaviors two objects. It's you're promising behaviors, but you're not specifying any implementation details. What the heck does that mean? I'm sure you're thinking that right now. And it took me forever, literal years for me to understand the importance of this. And so if you don't understand this, just watch the video over again. Um, I'm about to show you some really cool stuff before I just make my interface just go crazy. Okay, so let's take a look at where we left off last time. Uh, if our first person character walks into this volume, then this uh, door opens here. Well, this time I want us to walk up to this switch, press E, and then have that door open. But we're going to do it without hard references. And if we show you the references right now, uh, for example, if I go here and say reference viewer, uh, this shows us our hard reference tree. So basically, uh, this is our blueprint um, right here. And then it connects to this hidden door. It also references our first person character. And then, uh, you know, it references this little cube that we've had. That's like a separate object. Okay. And if we click on our first person character, you can see that it's referencing the switch. Okay. So this can get out of hand pretty, pretty quickly. <laughs> Uh, trust me on this if you're building a large game with all these hard references. So I'm going to show you how to decouple all of that by right clicking, go to blueprints, go to blueprint interface, and we're going to call this BPI for blueprint interface underscore interact. Okay. And then we're going to double click. We're going to open this and I'm going to create this function here. It already creates us a new, a new function, but I'm going to call this interact. Okay. Compile, save, and that's literally it. So this is um, our interface, but we're not specifying any implementation details. We're just saying we're going to pass along something called interact. To those who, have, who are implementing this interface, it will make sense to only those objects. And then I want to do something else. We're going to go to project settings, and we're going to go to input. And under here, I'm going to create a new action mapping. And uh, this is going to be our... Uh, interact action 
okay? And in most games, uh, I would assume that's going to be E on the keyboard for PC games. If you want to add another, uh, like, gamepad button, you can come down here, gamepad, and uh, you could say, you know, it's like face button top or something like that. So that would be, um, it's been a long time since I've played PlayStation. It's triangle, right? <laughs> and on Xbox, it's uh, Y. It's been a long time. Anyways. That's what that would be. So that's how you can do it in Unreal Engine with the input mappings. Okay, so I want to go to our first person character real quick. So let's open our first person character. And we're gonna start uh, putting in the action mapping that we just created. So if you right click and you say uh, interact action, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get this event. So once this is pressed, something's going to happen, right? Well, I want to come up to our class settings and here I want to implement our BP underscore interact. So this is where we implement our interfaces. Now you have to click compile to be able to access any of this, okay? Very important. It's something I always forget about. So um, I want to basically come over to our components here and uh, actually this capsule component, I just want to get this. So I'm going to drag it into uh, our uh, event graph right here. So we're going to go uh, is, let's see, I think overlapping and get overlapping actors. Yes, this is what we want <laughs> because I want to have uh, this class filter here. So uh, we're basically just going to check any actor. So whatever our capsule component, which is on our uh, first person character, you can see this giant capsule, whatever it's overlapping, uh, we're going to make sure it's an actor. Okay. And we're going to get those actors and we're going to do a for each loop. Okay. And we're going to make sure, uh, each of these actors that we're overlapping with, once we press this button is implementing our interface. Okay. So let's loop through all these and make sure does it implement our interface? And that's our BPI underscore interact. Yes or no. We're going to branch from that, which is a condition uh, inside of Unreal Engine is our branch. Okay, grab that execution wire. And then if it does implement, we want to fire off a message that says interact. Not that guy. We want the message. The easiest way to, uh, you can see I'm failing right now. The easiest way is to get this array method and just say interact. And here we go. This is our message. Uh, so if it implements that, let's go ahead and interact. I'm going to clean this up by double clicking on the wire. Uh, maybe pull this down a little bit. Just so this is legible. And uh, we're going to do that and we're going to break. Okay. So we're going to keep looping through whatever we're overlapping with and make sure that it implements our interface. Okay, so that's uh, a pretty easy way of getting our action mapping. And we can select all this and uh, hit C, and we're gonna say interact action. Okay, so that's our logic for that. All right, so just to review one more time, we're gonna get our input action, which is E on the keyboard. Uh, we're going to make sure our capsule co component is overlapping something. We're going to throw all of those items into an array, and we're going to make sure that uh, those items implement the interact interface. And if so, then we're just going to send it, that message to them, and we're going to say, hey, we're going to do that thing that we promised that we were going to do. And it's going to keep doing that until it breaks. All right? So all, it's going to loop through all our actors, um, and then it's going to break and it's going to stop. Okay. So that's a really cool way to for each loops, right? <laughs> You're figuring out how the power of for each loops in this video. Okay, great. So let's go ahead and save that. And then we're going to open our blueprints and we're going to start with our switch. And this is what we had last time. And this was all fine and dandy, but it, like I said, at a scalable, um, in a scalable game, or, uh, or experience, this isn't gonna work for us. It's not gonna be good enough. And I'm gonna go ahead and delete these references, okay? 
Okay, so now we're back to square one with our switch, uh, but we're gonna start implementing our interface. So let's go to add interface. Uh, let's say, sorry, not interface, it's BPI underscore interact. So we're interacting with this thing. It can be anything that we're interacting with. That's the power of this. Uh, then we're going to implement the event after we compile. Very important. Go ahead and implement this event. So we have an event called interact. And you can see that uh, this is a interface judging by uh, this icon here. That's our interface icon. I also wanted to show you that, you know, this is the message that we're sending out. Okay. I like the icons because it tells you that, hey, this isn't just any ordinary function. This is a giant message that we're sending out that has any actor that implements this interface. Okay, so once we do overlap this item and we're hitting E on our keyboard to interact, we need to make sure um, this box that we created, so if the player is standing within this box, we want to make sure that it is overlapping our player. So we can say is overlapping actor. And the cool thing with uh, Unreal Engine is that you can pretty much get your player um, information from any from any blueprint basically. So get player controller, character, pawn. We're gonna get our pawn. So we're gonna make sure that it's the thing that we're possessing is overlapping the box. We're gonna make sure that we do a condition on this. If it is true, let's just go ahead and print string. I haven't showed you guys this yet, but this is the way, uh, you know, a simple way that you can debug inside of Unreal Engine. So now we walk up, we're going to say E to interact, and it says hello in the top left. Okay, so you can make that message say anything. Uh, you can make this say is interacting, and then you would just go compile, save. So then if we hit play, and we walk up and we hit E, you can see that it says is interacting in the top left every time that we hit E on our keyboard. Cool. So something is working. <laughs> Things are working. Things are communicating. This is great. So what we want to do is we want to we want to target an object, right? So last time, if you remember, we stored a hard reference at on event begin play to our hidden door, and then we took that variable and we said, hey, we want to access the open sesame function with inside of the uh, hidden door. Okay, we're going to decouple that, and we just want to say uh, some actor, we want to send a message to it. Okay, so let's create a variable that is um, our target, right? This is, our, this is going to be our target for our blueprint. So we'll come over to variable type, and it's just going to be a generic actor class. Okay, we're just, we just need a reference to that. We're going to turn on our eyeball. So it's a lot easier for us to get something from this. And then we want to say um, interact and we're going to send a message to our targeted generic actor. And this is still okay for us to do. This is uh, just a reference to anything. It could be anything in our level. All right. So this is still allowing us to decouple and we're going to say hidden door. Once we hit that eyeball, that allows us to have uh, the reference in our editor, which is really super handy. Okay, so with that stored, we're going to go ahead and hit compile and save. And then let's go to our hidden door on our path to decoupling <laughs> inside of Unreal Engine. Uh, we don't need Open Sesame anymore. We're going to go ahead to our class. We're going to implement the uh, interact. We're going to compile first, implement our event, and then uh, go ahead and move. All right, so let's compile, save. And we'll come back in. We're going to overlap. We're going to hit E. And there we go. That's pretty awesome, right? <laughs> we don't have any hard references to anything. So now this switch is not just a door switch. It's a switch to a light bulb. It's a switch to a ceiling trap door. <laughs> I can't think of anything besides lights and doors. It could be anything. It could be anything. It, this could be something that you have to hit on a command console to progress to the next level. I don't know. Anything. You're, it could be whatever. So it's now just a generic switch and not a hidden door switch. So now the coolest part of all this is if we right click on our switch and we view our reference viewer, you can see the only thing uh, here is the interact. All right. So as you go and you create your games and your levels 
and your experiences. You won't have a massive list of things that it's hard referencing to in certain levels and certain uh, blueprints, whatever. Uh, this is decoupling everything. So this is this is as far as it goes. It just sends out an interact message and in, to anything that is implementing the interface, it will do something. Uh, so let's look at the uh, hidden door, the reference viewer here. Same thing. So now if we right click on our first person character, we go to reference viewer. This is as far as we go in terms of hard references. We are just loading into memory BPI interact. We're not going to load in all these other blueprint classes into memory when we load our character. This is going to make things so much faster for your games and experiences. Uh, man, interfaces are the bomb. <laughs> like you just create an interface for interact. Uh, you make an interface for whatever else and you just start implementing them to different classes and you're now decoupling everything, uh, which is great. This is awesome. And it took me years to figure this out, guys. It took me years to figure this out. And you figured it out today, uh, hopefully early on in your journey, so that you can create some amazing experiences in Unreal Engine. So, guys, if you like this video, please give it a like. You know, it's a YouTube video, so I have to tell you to do that. No, it really does help uh, this video get seen by many others. Hopefully, it helps other people. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I do actually answer questions. I really do read everything. So, I appreciate you guys. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.